World's first tunnel for cruise ships. So guys, you all may know that the world's first tunnel is going to be constructed in Norway. And you can believe that the tunnel is going to be responsible for bypassing the treacherous Sadvid Sea in the narrowest point. This tunnel, which is going to be the first of its kind, will be making life easier for cruise ships and other large sea vehicles. The project begins in 2022 and is expected to take at least four years to complete. I think this crazy project is the answer to a problem that's existed for more than a thousand years. Quite literally since the time of the Vikings, traversing in the Stadavid Sea has met a treacherous journey for boats. Bypassing it could be lucrative for the country's tourism sector, while other industries and trades would benefit from safer passage. The Stad ship tunnel will run through the Stadavit Peninsula in the northwest, and it should help ships safely bypass the dangerous exposed waters of the Stadavit Sea, where the topography and ocean currents are known to reduce high waves coming from all different directions. Once complete, it will be 1.06 miles long and 118 feet wide, and should be large enough for the most vessels in the coastal voyage fleet to pass through, though it will be too small for cruise ships. Currently, an estimated 20% of ships are delayed at Stad due to the sea conditions and much of Norway's good transport happens over land because of the risks associated with sailing around the peninsula. The Stad ship tunnel should help the country establish more reliable shipping routes. The project will take three to four years to complete and should cost approximately $330 million, considering the Norwegians should have considered a tunnel for more than 100 years. However, this seems like a very short time to wait, and a small price to pay. The 1.7 kilometer tunnel will enable cargo vessels in the coastal voyage fleet to subsequently lead to the difficult sailing conditions for vessels. However, the tunnel may not be big enough for large cruise ships. The project is being undertaken by the Stad Ship Tunnel Team and will enhance safety and security for seafarers in the western Norway. The new tunnel is also expected to establish a more reliable short sea shipping route. On this, Norwegian Coastal Administration Stad Ship Tunnel Project Manager Terhij Andersen said, We will now start the process of acquisition of properties in the area in which a ship tunnel will be located as well as put a place on a project organization, prepare a tender basis, and initiate a tender. At the moment, ships navigating the surrounding of Stadavit are often impacted by rough tides and bad weather. The coastline outside that peninsula is the most stormy area in Norway, but the hurricane says Andersen. You get a lot of strange currents here. Sometimes ships have to wait for days in the nearest harbor for weather conditions to improve. But inside the tunnel, weather and tide shouldn't impact transit. Making ships journey safer and smoother could lead to high-speed ferry service, suggests Andersen, and also strengthen the area's industrial and commercial activities. It will be connected better, it will be easier to travel, he says. The Norwegian Coastal Administration notes that while other tunnels can accommodate small boats and barges, no other underpass has been built to serve large ships. The ship tunnel at Stadafi will burrow through the narrowest point of the Stadafi Peninsula, which makes the undertaking more doable, as the tunnel won't actually be that long. Entry to the tunnel will be controlled by the traffic light system. The plan is for borrowing to take place via underground drilling rigs and pallet rigs. Building the tunnel will likely involve removing some buildings and roughly 3 million cubic meters of rocks. The Norwegian Coastal Administration says that the finished structure will be akin to a large and long mountain hall. While the tunnel is likely to attract the attention of infrastructure enthusiasts from across the world, the chief goal of the tunnel is simply to make transitioning to the Sadafit Sea safe and predictable, as Andersen puts it, and at the present it won't be possible to walk through the tunnel on foot. So if you're intrigued, go via boat and be the only option. Each end of the Stad ship tunnel will be framed by an entrance designed by the architect studio Sononeta. The studio looked like the peninsula's characteristic stone walls to create a design that would provide a visual impact and also blend with the natural environment. Wire cut and blasted stone will be used to create the entrance walls for the tunnel, giving the design rough finish to the contrast with the regulatory of the horizontal lines. On its western side, an existing road will be rerouted over the tunnel on the new bridge that will offer a viewpoint to observe ships and boats approaching the tunnel. And as we told you earlier, the interior of the tunnel will be lit by LED hoses that also function as a wayfinding system. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss any amazing video from us in the future.